In this video, I show you how I fly MC-30s. This is the captain. Brace for impact. Alright, as usual, there are two variants. The first one is the MC-30C Torpedo Frigate. Uh, it comes with four hull, three shields to the front, three shields to the sides, and two shields to the rear. Uh, it has speed four, comes with two evade tokens and two redirect tokens. It has two black dice and a blue dice out the front. It has two blues and three blacks out the sides. One blue and one black out the rear. And it has one blue anti-squadron dice. Uh, the upgrade slots available include the officer slot, weapons team slot, defensive retrofit, uh, ordnance uh, upgrades, and the turbo laser slot. On the right is the MC-30C Scout Frigate. Uh, that comes in at 69 points, so for an extra 6 points you get exactly the same thing as the Torpedo Frigate, except it has red dice instead of blue dice. Alright, let's talk upgrades on the Torpedo Frigate. Now, like the Raider, if you're going to take the Torpedo Frigate, always take Ordnance Experts for your Weapons Team slot. Alright, one of the more popular builds you'll see for the Torpedo Frigate includes Admonition for the title, Lando Calrissian for the officer slot, uh, you'll have Ordnance Experts, obviously, Assault Proton Torpedoes, and H9 Turbo Lasers, for a total of 92 points. Another popular build for the Torpedo Frigate is to swap out the two titles from before, and you get Foresight and Major Delin in this place, and this is called the Fallen. And if for some other reason you don't want to run any of the titles, then you can have the same loadout but with a skilled first officer. Alright, and if you're skipping out on points, you can swap out the uh, the ordnance slots and the turbo laser slots with external racks and XI-7s and still be as effective. And just to demonstrate how tanky uh, this build is with uh, Mon Mothma on an MC-30, the most expensive ship in the game, the ISD-2, needs to roll this to one-shot it. Which is already hard enough to do with that many dice. Now, they roll that dice, what you do now is you use Lando, Discard Lando, and then re-roll some dice, so let's say those four there. Alright, so this is what's come out. Still still a pretty bad roll. Alright, you've got Momofma, so you're going to use a um, Evade, and re-roll this dice. Alright, so that's, that was an actually, so that's pretty much cancelled out because it's already been spent. Okay, and because you have ammunition, you'd probably discard this Evade to get rid of one more. So now there's only three damage which goes onto the front. Okay, another build you can do is with Foresight and Major Dillon on the same dice, two accuracies and seven damage. The, the two accuracies will be used on the two redirects. So what we do now is we use Mon Mothma to evade, re-roll the, the double and the crit. All right. Okay, so we've got a blank and we've got two damage still. Now we use Derlin, so we exhaust him and then cancel the damage. So let's say that one there. So we're down to 5 damage, which is still alive. So obviously, uh, if they target your uh, evades instead of the redirects, uh, 7 damage, you just redirect to one side if they got uh, XI-7. So you know, 7 becomes 6, and then you'll survive on 1. So in the end, the most expensive ship in the game still has the potential to one-shot you, but most of the time it won't. Alright, and just to mention as well, Foresight is really good at long range, so even if an ISD-2 uh, rolls four dice and all of them were doubles, you would evade two, and you'd turn in four damage down to three, and then you'd redirect the rest down. So, all right, before last, let's roll it anyway, instead of getting the maximum dice. So realistically, we roll that. Okay, so straight away, we evade with those two and the rest are, are blanks. All right, let's uh, talk about the MC-30 scout builds. Uh, the first one is Commander Sato. Basically the same thing as the torpedo builds, except you have Sato. So what you're trying to do with Sato is replace your two red dice at long range with black dice. Right? So you can fish for the, uh, the assault proton torpedoes at long range. Uh, this especially works well with, uh, against ships that don't have evade. So large ships uh, in... Ch ah, fuck. Alright, so what you're trying to do with, uh, with the fucking rocket? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. So what you're trying to do with Commander Sato is fish for the uh, uh, criticals such as assault proton torpedoes at long range. So you would replace the two red dice there with two black dice, right, because you've got the squadron there. 
roll them, okay? And because I've got, a, well, I've got two criticals here, so the APTs would go off. Um, if I didn't get the critical, let's say, let's say it was a blank and a hit, then because I've got ordnance experts, I can re-roll those and, uh, and try to fish for the crit. Obviously, this works best against ships that don't have evade, such as ISDs, victories, uh, and MC-80s. All right, another popular scout build is Admiral Akbar with uh, gunnery teams, intel officer, and turbo reroute circuits. Um, you might you might go with the intel officer, you might not. You might have other officers in mind, but that's an option for you. Uh, obviously, the way you'd fly this is to keep at long range. Uh, with your Akbar dice, and uh, the thing is, if they get close, then you have your black dice to uh, increase your firepower. Alright, so if you're a new player and you're flying MC-30s for the first time, I suggest uh, just making your stack completely navigates. Uh, this is because, so on first turn, you're going to bank the navigate token, right? And now, and you're going to put speed 2. So throughout the whole game, you're going to be able to maneuver at any point between speed 2 and speed 4, or speed 2 and speed 1. And uh, if, you're, if you watched the first last video, you can you have the opportunity to first last ships that pop up. So say this uh, Gazani over here, you're going to speed to, you've done a navigate, right? So you go, okay, I can go to speed four, get right up into, into its grill, like that. And then on the next turn, you're going to activate that first. And because you got H9 turbo lasers, you're going to get an accuracy for free, and then kill the scatter, and that's a dead Ghazani. Also, the other reason you might want to be doing Navigator a lot is because if you look at the speed chart, it starts getting really unmaneuverable at speed 4. Right, once you get a bit more experience, you might want to time a Concentrate Fire command in your command stack. Uh, I would time it normally around turns 2 or 3, maybe even 4, uh, depending if you get the jump or not early enough in turn 2. So. What you can do, if you're not sure, is uh, equip a skilled first officer and then alternate the uh, the command stack. So let's say here I've got a concentrate fire, but if I needed a nav, I'd discard first, a skilled first officer and get the nav instead. Or conversely, I can have it the other way around. Discard that. I want to take a shot here against the gladiator. Discard this one. Concentrate fire. Okay, now let's demonstrate how the torpedo build works on the gladiator. Alright, so front up first. All right, uh, I would concentrate into this one. So one black. All right, another blank. So let's re-roll this with Ordnance Experts. All right, oh wow, three criticals. Uh, now I'll use H9 to turn this into a accuracy. Let's block their brace, and we'll do APTs to them. Okay, but firstly, they do redirect. All right, APTs first. Uh, we get a projector misaligned. Wow, all right, so they lose all their front shields. And they redirect two to the front, two to this side, uh, one to the rear, and then they take three face down. Alright. Alright, and now we finish them off with the side arc. Alright, so two blues, three blacks. Alright, uh, we don't need an audience expert this. I would change this dice to a accuracy with H9s, block the brace, okay. Uh, they would redirect, take an, we'll take an APT to them, and they would simply die. So, MC-30s, um, think of them as your glass cannons. Uh, they're, for the price you pay, you punch out a lot of damage, um, but probably only for that one time. So you, you drive in, you deliver your torpedoes, uh, you either soften up a large ship, or you just outright destroy a, a small ship, or two. And then you drive out of there. So that's that's how you would fly an MC-30. In most rebel fleets, the MC-30 would play as a nice uh, as a nice trick to do that damage in the fleet, and have another ship like a carrier, such as an MC-80 or an assault frigate, to finish off the uh, the target. Or it's a nice ship to kill off uh, other small ships. There are some other fleet builds where it could play as your main uh, key player such as uh, three MC-30s and a couple of Corvettes or GR-75s. And uh, it, can be really, uh, it can be really difficult to fly, but also very rewarding if you pull it off. So that's all I got for the MC-30. Uh, good luck at your regionals event. Uh, support us on the Patreon page. And uh, put a comment below if you want us to make a video about any other ship. Uh, this is Veteran Captain Ken, signing out.